for those who don't know what an SDR is, it is a radio in which some of its functions such as modulation, demodulation, encoding, decoding, tuning and much more is implemented by a software which runs in the microprocessor. Universal Software Radio Peripheral USRP is the NI solution for SDRs. USRP hardware works with a wide range of applications. The flexibility and affordability of the hardware means you can use the products for different purpose. Educational purpose. R&D. Radar and direction finding. Satellite Earth Station monitoring. Rapidly deployed mission critical applications. NIUSRP provides a popular and versatile SDR which is a fully user programmable SDRs that combine general purpose processors, FPGA, and RF front ends so that you can rapidly and efficiently design, prototype, and deploy wireless systems. In terms of hardware, we have six different categories. B-Series. A cost-effective USB SDRs with wide frequency range and compact form factor. X-Series. A high-performance PCI Express, based on powerful Kintex 7 FPGA and a 2x2 MIMO transceiver. NI Edis. Highest Performance X-Series USRP which contains a Zinc Ultrascale microprocessor and a radio frequency system on chip, 4x4 MIMO and a wider bandwidth. E-Series. A conduction-cooled, portable, and standalone SDRs containing a zinc system on chip and a 2x2 MIMO transceiver. N series. A high performance, standalone SDR containing a zinc system on chip, 2x2 MIMO, and up to 128x128 phase synchronous systems, 200 MHz of bandwidth. Standalone SDR. A high performing SDRs with an onboard processor and FPGA for standalone applications with up to 160 MHz of bandwidth and a MIMO capability. Here are several USRP models with different frequencies varying between 1 MHz to 7.2 GHz. Bandwidth between 56 MHz to 400 MHz. And iOS, SISO, CMO, MISO, MIMO. GPSDO and Oven Controlled Crystal Oscillator. The device can be programmed in three different ways. One way to do that is through LabVIEW, which is a graphical coding software provided by NI. Another way to do it is through the GNU Radio, which is a free and open source software development toolkit that provides signal processing blocks to implement software radios. And lastly, the open source UHD, which is a free and open source software driver and API for the USRP. NIUSRP Suite is used to shorten the transition from design to deploy. It is a real-time, prototyping platform capable of emulating components or complete end-to-end -end system. NIUSRP provides the most popular and versatile SDR. Let's go over a quick demo using NIUSRP 2952. The device is connected to the PC using an Ethernet wire and an SRP connector. Once connected, you can identify the device using NIUSRP configuration. In this application, you will be able to see the IP address, the connection and the device. Once the IP address is attained, you can use LabVIEW to communicate with it. I will be running the QAM Quadrature Amplitude Modulation Receiver and Transmitter Program, which is installed in LabVIEW example, which is available once you download the USRP Triable and Modulation Tool. In the Transmission Program, make sure the device IP, the channel and the antenna are right, and also make sure the receiver, the device IP and the channel and the admin are right. Executed with the cross. Once the receiver is executed, you can run the transmitter and you can see the received signal. That's it for today. I hope it was an insightful video. Stay tuned for similar videos.